Hi, I'm Jenna with Elite Automation. This is Malachi. Today we are going to show you how to use Auto Backward Exit and Robo Guide. Auto Backward Exit is a feature within RoboGuide um, that you can utilize to record a path and then go backwards throughout that path and you can also use it as a homing feature. So we're going to go in here. We already have a home feature but I'm going to create one to show you guys. Call it home too. Okay. So here we would go to instruction, macro. All right, so here in this menu screen, this macro screen, you can see the different commands that you can use of the auto backward exit. So the first one is do exit, do backward exit. And so the do backward exit essentially is the execution of those moves, right? So whenever you want to actually perform the reverse movements that you've recorded, uh, you'll do a backward exit. Uh, then we have record path end. That one will be basically be whenever you want to end your recording. And with these different uh, instructions, they operate differently based on your settings within your parameter. So you can set up a path end to perform differently. So either a path end can wipe out your recorded path, so now there's no, no more recorded path. You can have it retain the recorded path uh, and, and be able to use it later. You can uh, set whether you want your recorded path to be recorded and to maintain its recording when jumping through different programs or you can have it wipe out if you jump into another program. So these are uh, just different methods to be able to set the auto backward exit up in a way that is more familiar with the way your company like maybe does homing or does to, to and from paths. It just gives you a little bit more flexibility in how this operates. It can also add like a safety level so that way uh, an operator can't home something and if there's not a recorded path that the robot doesn't just take a random path from a different location. There's also other parameters too that we'll, we'll get into as we get further in this video. Uh, but then you have record path pause. So that's just if you want to pause it while you're recording it. You can also restart the, you can also start the recording again like a resume recording which can be very important like if you want to go down to a particular area, uh, pick something up you don't want to record the actual pickup position. You only want to record the to that position, and then uh, maybe you pause it. You go down, pick up whatever you're gonna pick up. You come back up, and then you start resuming your recording. Uh, that way, let's say for instance, if you're if you go forward, you go down, you pick something up, you come up, and then you go left. Uh, if you do that pause feature and you don't record when you go down, what your home will look like is you'll go you'll go right and then you'll go reverse and you'll skip that down uh, point because maybe you're, you are holding a tool or, or holding a, a part in your fixture and you don't want to crash it into the fixture or something like that. So that's a good way to to use that, that start and resume or pause uh, feature within in this program. So here we're going to make a few programs um, to kind of explain the record path start, record path end, um, do backward exit. So we'll start with record path start. So we have start record path, we have our three points. We're going to do an end record path, okay, and then we're going to add a do backward exit. So eight, six for macro, do backward exit, 
We're gonna start start at the top at record path start. So here's position one, and we're gonna go to position two, and then forward to position three, and then do backward exit. So now it's performing the do backward exit. So basically it's taking you from your points and retracting the steps backwards. So you can use that in a homing position or to go back away from your point the same way it, it went to the point. Okay. One thing I want to call out here is this is a perfect example of, of like how to utilize these starts and ends and whatnot. So just to show a couple features of the auto backward exit and how like these start paths work. As you can see, this robot went back to this position over here. And the reason why is because the robot doesn't care uh, where the robot was. It'll start recording no matter what, right? So the reason why I went back to this position is because she didn't start at this position. She just started the program. So it don't matter if I start in a completely different location. So like, watch this real quick. We'll go shift or positive Z. I'm gonna go here, and then I'm gonna run this uh, auto backward exit, and you'll see that the robot's gonna go from this above position down here, it's gonna execute its moves, then it's gonna come back out of here, and it's gonna go back up to the position it's currently at. Majority of the time, you may not want that particular instance to occur. So to show you through the simulation, now notice we're performing an auto backward exit function right here. These are programs that are auto written into the background of this macro to execute these different moves. All right, now as you can see, it went back up to that top location. Now, if you don't want that to occur, uh, this is kind of the valuable part. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna cut this, select, cut. We're gonna go down one position and we're gonna paste it. Paste position. Okay, now we're gonna go back up to the top, shift, forward. Notice it won't go back to that position. This is more so the way that you want to utilize this type of uh, function. So now we're coming back, and then we're gonna go back to that uh, common position right here. Boom. Notice we didn't go back up to this location because we didn't start recording until after we got to this uh, P1. Now I'm going to add a point that is an example of what I was referring to earlier. Maybe there's a particular part that you don't want to be recorded. So we're gonna do like this and go in the negative X direction. As if we're performing whatever execution that we are on this part. So don't necessarily worry about what the robot's doing at this given moment. Here. Okay, now we're going to insert two lines, just give some space, and then we'll go shift point, it doesn't really matter, okay. So <clears throat> one thing with this particular instance here, basically this, this record path end, it won't record this other position, but what we're trying to do as an example here is we're actually going to take this one and we're going to move it. Cut. Let's go. Paste. Command. One, one. Insert. And then we're going to do a uh, instruction. Next. Macro. Six. And then we're going to do a Record path pause, boom. And then we're gonna do a instruction, next macro, resume. By the way, the start function can also be set up differently through like parameters in the variable menu. And here in a second, we're gonna show you in the menu screen on how to, how to change some of those parameters. So as you can see here, we're gonna go to a position, then we're gonna start our recording, we're gonna do a couple moves, then we're gonna pause it, then we're gonna resume our path as well, and then let's do like this, edit command, or edit command one, let's do two more lines of code here, and then we're gonna go back to position three, shift forward, shift forward, going back to that position there, 
Then I'm gonna add some Z height to that position. Okay, and then I'm gonna come back here and do a record of this position. And then uh, what you're gonna see is basically it's gonna ignore that cut move and it's gonna basically go down and come back uh, and ignore this left move over here. But you'll see it as we run through this code real quick. Step mode, boom, boom. So we start, we started recording. We're recording all this. We're not recording that. And then I messed up. Oops. Okay. Uh, I messed up by, I need to, for this example's sake, I need to have this select copy after our position four. So my initial path was wrong. It wasn't necessarily that our do backward exit was about to be wrong. So we're gonna go back to our start position again. Boop, boop. Boom, go up. Down. Ah, why is it going on over there? It shouldn't be going over there. Alright, so we have one more bug on my end. Edit command. I, I started the resume too quickly. By the way, the reason why I'm letting this be all raw and y'all can see every little mistake that we're making here uh, is because I think it really exposes some of the errors that you might run into in the real world and, and just kind of showing our thought process on how we go, go about uh, kind of troubleshooting why it didn't work appropriately. Boom, cut, up, oh. mm. there we go. So now see it, it completely left out this area right here which is exactly what we wanted to do because we didn't want it to cut again but we wanted to take as much of the common path backwards as possible. Boom. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and let Jenna take back over again, and she's gonna show you guys how to go through the, the setup screen and change some of the different variables uh, within this code. Okay, so you go to the menu, go to setup, auto backward exit. Um, so usually, we already have this set up, so usually this would say false, and I think this says 6,000 millimeters. So you'd have to change this to true. So in the auto backward exit setup, these variables you can change at any time. This will originally say zero, we changed it to 40 for the program that we're using. So for the top three, you have to go to the control start, Cycle power, options, control. Okay, so here we are in the control start function. So in here you go to menu, zero next, zero next, and then two for auto backward exit. This you can change to true or false. You want to switch it to true to activate the feature. Um, here, false, true. This is originally 6,000 millimeters. Um, ours needed to be bigger, so we had to change it to 10,000. But you go to apply, which is F3, and then you'd have to cycle start. So you'd go to function, cold start. So that is all on the auto backward exit feature. Um, stay tuned to learn some more cool stuff. Thank you.